What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. We have a brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer that dropped with no notice at all. And we're going to dive right in, watching for the very first time. And I cannot wait because we can already see a new Pokemon on the screen here. All right, we got something that looks like a Diglett. Could this be the regional fake? Is this finally confirmation of the regional fake? Could be a Diglett, represents a Diglett, but its coloring is different than a Diglett. Could be the regional form of a Diglett. I mean, it's like an albino Diglett, honestly. Oh, it's way stretchy. Oh my god, this thing is so stretchy. This thing looks like one of those, uh, like, undersea, like, eels, like, type of things. They live on the sea floor, but they're not like eels, but they're something like an eel. It literally is the same face as a Diglett, though. It's just stretchy. This is pretty cool. Man, they're just wiggling out. What is this survey? I, Would a ground-type Diglett live near water like this in the first place? I mean, probably not. This is definitely not ground type Diglett. I don't know what these <laughs> these researchers are thinking. It's possible that the regional form could have different coloration. But even so. Dude, it's so big. This thing is long and it's like. I don't know. It looks wild. It looks like an Alaskan bullworm from SpongeBob. <laughs> Also, the base of it is different. It looks like more like a C4 bedrock instead of like just regular ground like Diglett. Beach or C of the Pallia region would be Wiglet. All right, there you go. Confirmation. Name is Wiglet for the new Pokemon that looks like Diglett. All right, both burrow on the ground. But they're not the same Pokemon. So they are literally regional fakes. They are literally regional, regional fakes. Regional fakes confirmed. This is not a regional form. This is a regional fake, which means all the leaks from Kaka and Riddler Koo about this topic were 100% sure. That is awesome. And there we have it. We got one brand new Pokemon announced from this webinar today. And I wonder if we're actually gonna get more webinars like this in the future. I wouldn't be too surprised because this is a really cool like type of thing that they're doing, like a National Geographic thing on Pokemon. So yes, we got confirmation of Wiglet, which seems to be a pure water type when we look at leaks because this was leaked by Riddler Koo. And yes... Riddler Koo does say this morning, say hi to our first regional fake, which means, yes, we are going to be getting another regional fake, and we already know what that regional fake is going to be, and that is going to be the regional fake of Tentacool, Tentacruel, but now we have Wiglet, and we have to assume that the evolution of Wiglet is probably going to be Wigtrio, and I wouldn't be so surprised. I mean, when we look at what Riddler Koo says, Wigtrio, it's obvious now, so there we go. And I believe, yeah, it could literally just be three Wiglets combined to make a Wigtrio. And Pure Water is really interesting on it, too. I mean, I hope it actually ends up being a good Pokemon. I bet it's a water physical type Pokemon, too. So that's going to be really interesting. But we don't have actually too much information about Wiglet right now, unfortunately. But we do know what it's actually based on in real life. So it's an Iberian Angulus, which is essentially one of these, like, little, like, they're sort of like an eel slash snake, but they're like a fish that lives at the bottom of the sea. And they look really cool looking. Like, they live in the sand. So this is what I was thinking of, like, the seafloor eels. Essentially, this is what it looks like. And the fact that it has the name Iberian in it, I totally believe that's what it is because the Paudia region takes place in the real-life area of Iberian region, which is Spain and Portugal. So this is very believable to me. And this is honestly really cool. I'm... I'm such a big fan of Pokemon being based off of real life animals, especially animals like this. I never would have thought of actually received a Pokemon. It's such a cute cry. Such a cute cry of this Pokemon. Honestly, this Pokemon, incredibly cute. Big fan overall. How do you feel about Wiglet? Let me know in the comment section below. And just to look at the confirmation of the regional forms, new evolutions, past paradox, future paradox, and conversion species, we now have confirmation on Wiglet. So we can actually update this to say Wiglet instead of Diglet, but 
There we go. So the other one is going to be tentacle. We still do not know of tentacles typing. We know it's going to be grass, but we don't know anything else about it. So this is where we are on the current leak update of all the special forms of Pokemon. We also got some brand new screenshots for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet outside of the Wiglet trailer. So we get to see some more Paldea Whooper here. We get to see some Applin just hanging out in the tree. We get to just see some Obama Snows and Snovers just hanging out, vibing in the mountain area. And then we got to see regular Diglett. So, yes, there is Diglett and there is Wiglet. Both of them are in the game for sure. So, I think that is a really cool thing that they are doing. And we also get confirmation of Zangoose being in the game before we saw Survivor. And I always thought, well, if Survivor's in the game, we're going to get Zangoose. Well, there we have it for Zangoose fans. Zangoose is in the game too. That is awesome. I love it. And Pokemon are interacting with each other, which is really cool. So maybe brand new animations, brand new interactions on the overworld. It seems like they're bringing back some of the Pokemon Legends Arceus stuff to the game too in terms of animation. So this is really exciting for us. And we get to see a couple more of it. I mean, some interesting stuff here, like Sandile are actually in the desert area and they're swimming through the sand like it's water, which is really cool. It seems like they like to sunbathe and they pop out when they're upset. Same with Crocodile and Crocker Rock are going to be doing the same thing. So that's really cool that the Pokemon seem more lived in in these worlds, which I think is pretty awesome. And lastly, we get to see Psyduck swimming in a pond exactly like Pokemon Legends Arceus. So they did bring over animations for Pokemon Legends Arceus for at least some Pokemon. So that is awesome that Psyduck is going to be swimming. We also get to see like a Meryl in here swimming as well. So that's pretty cool and there's a Luxio walking around here too so this is really sweet I think they're doing a lot of good stuff with this game I'm really excited I cannot wait and I hope we get another trailer soon because I think now we have officially about 14 brand new Pokemon so we need more we know there's about like 109 including the all the forms so there's a lot of Pokemon that haven't showed us yet there's less than 60 days let me know in the comment section below what you want to see in the next trailer I'm really excited I can't believe this is the game is so soon Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, like the video. Catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.